Imagine living in a community specifically created to preserve precious natural resources and provide greater energy efficiency in your home. A community designed to provide healthier air inside your home, to conserve water usage, and to reduce pollution in your neighborhood and beyond. Imagine what an impact this would have on your life, your well-being, our environment, and on the future of generations to come. Welcome to Drake Landing Solar Community, a master-planned neighborhood in Okotoks, Alberta, that has successfully integrated Canadian energy-efficient technologies with a renewable, unlimited energy source, the sun. Proudly pioneered by the Government of Canada in conjunction with Canadian industry partners, Drake Landing Solar Community is the first of its kind in North America. A showcase of Canadian solar thermal and energy efficient technologies, each home within the community produces four and a half fewer tons of greenhouse gas emissions than a conventional home. The 52 homes in the community are heated by a district heating system designed to store abundant solar energy underground during the summer months and distribute the energy to each home for space heating needs during winter months. The system is unprecedented in the world, fulfilling 90% of each home's space heating requirements from solar energy and resulting in less dependence on limited fossil fuels. All homes built in the Drake Landing solar community are finely crafted single-family homes with rear garages and breezeways. Showing a dedicated commitment to environmental stewardship, each home is constructed to both Natural Resources Canada's R2000 standard and the Built Green Alberta Gold standard. These building standards guarantee superior quality, offer greater energy efficiency, improved indoor air quality, and overall comfort for the homeowner. Each home consumes 30% less energy than conventionally built houses, is designed with low-impact landscaping, and uses locally manufactured materials, a practice that supports local businesses and reduces pollution due to the transportation of goods. Homes in the Drake Landing solar community also abide by the Town of Okotoks policy of proper water stewardship, meeting high standards of water efficiencies and reduced runoff. In meeting these superior building standards, each home in the community is fitted with upgraded insulation and vapor barrier systems that eliminate drafts and allow for balanced space heating and cooling throughout the home. Lumber certified and produced by sustainable harvested sources. Engineered joists and load-bearing components that are stronger, more structurally stable, and are produced using sustainable manufacturing practices. A SIP panel system at joist header areas ensures consistent insulation and vapor barrier in this traditionally hard to finish space. Recycled materials in the drywall. Upgraded window systems that add to the superior insulation of the home. Outdoor water tap meters. Low flow toilets and faucets to reduce water consumption. An advanced basement air gap wrap to drain water away from the foundation and prevent moisture buildup. Pre-finished exteriors and upgraded roofing material with longer warranties. Space heating consumes the largest amount of energy in Canada's residential sector. Most extraordinary about homes in the Drake Landing solar community is that 90% of space heating needs are met with solar energy. This is achieved through an innovative solar district heating system that connects to each home. All homes are equipped with a specialized air handler unit, replacing the need for a conventional furnace. The air handler consists of a fan coil, forced air ductwork, and a heat recovery ventilator. To increase the temperature in a home, the homeowner uses a common thermostat. Raising the temperature on the thermostat opens a valve that allows hot water to flow from the district heating loop through the coil. The fan blows air across the hot coil, heating the air and distributing it throughout the home in high volume, low velocity ductwork. The heat recovery ventilator exhausts warm, moist, stale air from within the home to the outside and preheats cool, fresh incoming air. This system ensures fresh air inside the home and requires less energy to provide space heating as compared to a conventional furnace. To meet hot water demands, an independent solar domestic hot water system that operates with unique self-regulated solar panels is installed in each home. Two panels located on the roof of the home absorb the sun's energy to heat a glycol solution that runs from the panels to a heat exchanger in the basement. The glycol is a non-toxic antifreeze, allowing the system to function during the winter months. As the glycol passes through the heat exchanger, 
heat is transferred to the water within the hot water tank. The result is that 60% of the home's domestic hot water requirements are met using solar energy. When solar energy is not available, the hot water demands are supplemented by a backup natural gas power vented hot water unit. Use of the solar domestic hot water system alone saves one ton of greenhouse gas emissions per home each year. The area of Okotoks is a top 10 Canadian location in terms of sunny days each year. It receives enough solar energy each year to equal parts of Italy and Greece, making it an ideal location for solar energy collection. An array of 800 solar panels located on garage roofs throughout the community generate 1.5 megawatts of thermal power during a typical summer day and supply heat to the district heating system. From sunrise to sunset, the solar panels absorb the sun's energy and heat a glycol solution running through an insulated piping system that connects the array of collectors. The heated glycol travels along the roof overhang down the end of the garage and underground through a shallow buried trench system until it arrives at a heat exchanger within the community's energy center. Here, the heated glycol passes through the heat exchanger, transferring heat to the water stored in a short-term storage tank. The glycol solution carries on through its loop back to the solar collector system. From the short-term storage tank, the heated water is distributed to the borehole thermal energy storage system. Consisting of 144 holes that stretch 37 meters below the ground and cover an area 35 meters in diameter, the borehole system is where the summer's heat is stored for use in the wintertime. As the heated water travels through the pipework, heat is transferred to the surrounding earth. The temperature of the earth will reach 80 degrees Celsius by the end of each summer. To improve the insulation properties of the earth and keep the heat in, the borehole system is covered with sand, high-density R40 insulation, a waterproof membrane, clay, and other landscaping materials. The water completes its circuit of the borehole system and returns to the short-term storage tanks in the energy center to be heated again and repeat the same process. When winter arrives and heat is needed for the community, the heat in the borehole system is distributed by water back to the energy center and then through the district heating loop to each home. As the residential construction industry uses vast quantities of the nation's natural resources, the mindful construction of homes has become increasingly important. The homeowners of the Drake Landing Solar Community benefit from an unlimited supply of solar energy and lower consumption in their high-quality, energy-efficient homes. A community built with integrity, innovation, and vision. Drake Landing Solar Community reinvents what a traditional community can be by embracing contemporary thinking and progressive environmental initiatives. We depend on the natural resources that nature provides for us. Clean air, water, and energy sources. Choosing a greener future ensures that there'll be resources left for future generations. We'd like to acknowledge the project partners of the Drake Landing Solar Community.